Um, yeah, I just wanted to record a quick um, wrap up of the day video. Because things are so, even more than ever, surreal. Um, here we're gonna ha we're gonna have. Uh, severe, severe heat warning in this area, really, from Northern California and up into Oregon. And temperatures are going to go above 100 degrees the weekend. I saw different forecasts of anything next weekend coming up. Um, temperatures between 106 and 110 degrees and it's supposed to last all week. So, that's brutal. It's very dangerous. And uh, as much as I want to get back up to the hill, at least to sleep, That it's, you know, last year I slept up on the hill at 100. I got up there in the middle of July last year. It was 106 degrees. And um, I managed. But I did eventually get... Um, the heat stroke, not stroke, heat exhaustion or heat sickness for a couple of days. It's quite debilitating. And even though I was drinking water and everything, my body wouldn't sweat. It's crazy. So, uh, so that's what's coming up. So, obviously, I'm going to have to consider different options for my safety. Um, so that's the heat. And that's what's happening locally. But uh, I just listened to the Manti Homestead. I love these different homesteaders that I've discovered over the years, do amazing jobs. And um, this man, a uh, wonderful man, just uh, very entertaining to watch and also very intelligent in his homesteading and self-reliance skills. And I believe he's a Mormon up in Utah, and he's also a professional banker, but he also runs Homestead. His home's small. I think it's like a half an acre or something. Uh, does extraordinary work, and I think, what does he have? Like eight or nine kids? It's quite a sense of humor, too. Very intelligent. And I love how he, um, he he's done a couple of uh, videos on scripture and one of the scriptures of the or one of the um, when he spoke about the the solar eclipse that came through and how he pointed out in the Bible the prophecy of that and how every one of the cities it was ex you know I heard about some of these things too in a um she was a Romanian astrologer who worked with ancient Babylonian astrology and she made these same points of this last solar eclipse that we had that crossed over the states. Um, so anyway, but today, 
he spoke about Ezra, the prophecy of Ezra. Again, spot on what he's talking about. And um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, amazing. Really amazing times we're in. It's surreal. So I just wanted to um, again, being where I'm at, just for the last two weeks, I say, um, living at the pace of nature, I almost feel like this is a monastery and it's like St. Francis of Assisi's here because it's just all the animals, you know, they're, they're, not contained. They can come and go as they please. I don't know if I like the term wild, but they're not fenced in. They can move around, but they just live here. God, I can't say how healing that has been. And credit to these people who, um, good, very devoted to their Christian specific Christian lifestyle. And it's the beautiful light side of it, which is also very healing. I'm just, it's beautiful the way they live the Bible and Christ's message in the gospel. It's really beautiful. And that's so healing for me as well. So anyway, I just wanted to acknowledge that and in these very contradictory times and how things are unfolding. So, 7.44, that's good enough, I'm tired, but I, I just wanted to make this video. So, Satnam, Wahe Guru, Chi Miigwech, Bama P, and many blessings. Good night. <laughs>